Hey everybody, welcome back to the cabin. I really never wanted to have a source of electricity. I wanted everything to be totally off grid or just things that I could get from nature. But the reality is in this day and age, especially because I have videos that I need to film and upload, I need power. I need power to recharge my batteries. I need uh, power for lighting for inside the cabin, especially when I'm uh, filming and just a number of things like that, cell phone, a laptop. So finally, after a year or more of talking about it, trying to decide what to do about it, we finally came up with a solution. You've probably seen me power up some of my equipment with a backup power source. Uh, things like my cell phone that I use as a GPS and, and as a map. I have my light that I have on the camera. I have the camera itself. I have what my spot, the uh, emergency beacon, things like that. I just carry and need power in the backcountry. So to solve that, to uh, deal with that issue, I've been using Goal Zero products for maybe five years now, I guess. I'm gonna show you something. We're gonna unbox it actually. It's the first time I've seen this product in person and it's the first time I'm going to get my hands on it and open it up in front of you. So let's uh, take a look at this Goal Zero full system that I'm going to use to power the cabin and also power the other things that I need around the, the wilderness homestead here. So the interesting thing is you're gonna to have to tune into another video where I set this thing up, but my challenge here, of course, is that I have a lot of trees, so finding an open spot with good sunlight that's long enough to charge something, it's gonna be a challenge, so I'm gonna to have to work sort of around the area, move the panels around. So this is the heart of the system. This is what's going to power everything. So this is the Yeti 3000 lithium. I think it's their biggest inverter system. And as you can see, it's not that much bigger. It's probably the size of, I would say, two car batteries, two good sized car batteries. So I think what might end up happening is as the, like I said, the sun is moving around, I'll be able to move this along with the solar panels. So don't have to run a longer cable. The longer cable run you have between the solar panels and the inverter and from the inverter to the things you're powering, the more voltage loss you have. So you end up not um, either not powering enough devices or you run out of power quicker. So that is it. That's the meat and potatoes of the system. This is what I've been waiting for for a year. I've got my solar panels. I have my portable inverter and charge controller, which allows me to move it anywhere on the property and use it. So I can take this up to, you know, down the path where I'm building the next building. I can power equipment from there. I'm really excited to be able to move the whole system around to take advantage of not only sunlight to charge it, but also portability for actual power usage. So the other thing that I really like about this is the ease of use and the ease of setup. So these things are designed to be basically foolproof and not require technical knowledge. So what I love about easy to use plug and play systems like this is a guy like me can just literally plug and play so I can charge the inverter directly off the solar panels. I can plug my devices right into the inverter and that's it. Away I go. Or into the power station is what I should be calling this because the inverter is part of it but it's a full power station. And here's what I really like about it as well. Can't always count on the sun especially here in Canada and especially in the winter. I'll probably end up for the simple reason that I need to continue to power things like my camera and my um, and my computers and stuff like that in order to be able to continue making YouTube videos. I need that power so I'll probably end up adding a small generator that I can also plug into this to power it quickly, get it up to full charge and then shut down the generator and not have to listen to that thing running very often at all. So this is the solar panels. I've had these, like I said, for five years. I always just carry them in a Ziploc bag like this. 
to keep it watertight if it falls overboard, which it never has. So inside the bag is this Nomad 7 solar panel. It's just two small solar panels. The reason I like this one is that I can attach it to a backpack, just carabiner it on, or to my canoe, or if I'm paddling, I'll usually put this on my canoe pack in front of me on the whatever, like facing whatever way the sun's shining. So that charges fairly quickly like that. Then I can just plug this in. So the way that works is literally take blue, plug it into blue, flip that open, put it in the sun and that charges it. So what I have been using for my backcountry trips is this solar panel, the Nomad 7, combined with the Guide 10 Plus. What that is, is a, just a solar charger for AA and AAA batteries. So these batteries are pretty old now, but Goal Zero was good enough to send me four packs of four. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, four packs of four AA's and two packs of four AAA's. So these I'll use for a lot of my trail cameras around the property and these work well in my lights. So that's awesome. Looking really looking forward to using that system. So that's my mobile system. So when my wife and I go on backcountry trips or we go on long hiking trips to photograph, especially sunrise and sunset, stuff like that, we go through a lot of batteries. So we'll take the solar panel and the Sherpa and we can use that to charge our, our, our DSLR batteries, but also to run lights and stuff like that. So really, really looking forward to that. I used that actually on my, my uh, Woodland Caribou canoe trip last year. It was a loaner from the Outfitter and it worked really well for us. In fact, it kind of saved our lives because we actually changed our route dramatically because of the wind and some fires that were in the area but we were getting picked up by plane in the middle of the park. So we had to have a way to contact the, the airline or the outfitter to pick us up, tell, us, tell them where we were gonna be at the end of the week. Well, what happened is I left the satellite phone on by accident and the battery died. So we literally needed that to charge not only the last batteries that we had in our camera, there was a little bit of charge left in this. And I plugged it into the sat phone, got it running, called the outfitter and got our pickup arranged. So that's why these things are important. And then a couple other nice little bonus things. So the thing about the cabin is that it's dark even right now because I only installed three windows for mostly for heat retention. I don't want a lot of window area that lets out heat or lets in cold in the winter. So it gets kind of dark in there, which I don't mind. But what happens is that even at this time of year, nice to have a little bit of extra task lighting. I don't need to light up the whole cabin all the time, but task lighting is really important. So it's 50 lumens or 4,000 K LED. Of course it weighs next to nothing, but that's pretty cool. So as you know, I'm not a big fan of doing sponsored posts or paid you know, sponsorships on my videos. I've only done one ever, but when there's companies that would like to send me stuff or I'd like to work with because it makes sense for what I'm using here and, and I like the products that they offer and I like the company, then I accept trial things like this. I really, really appreciate that Goal Zero uh, thought it valuable for both of us to send me this system to try out. And I'm really looking forward to giving it a try. I really think this is gonna work for me and I'm happy to share that with you guys and keep you up to date on the progress and how it goes. So what I'll do is film another video of me installing the system and then I'll continue to just show you how I'm using it and how it's performing and if it's living up to my expectations. So Goal Zero, thanks very much for, for this opportunity and thanks to everybody else for watching this video. Really appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you up at the cabin again next time. Take care.